It's time for an animal showdown. The biggest, smallest, fastest. Animal record breakers can take all forms. Nature always pushes the boundaries of evolution, never ceasing to amaze us with record-breaking skills. The obvious starting point is the biggest land animal, the African elephant, a 6,000 kilo colossus, four meters tall. Twice the height of a human and heavier than a minibus, it's hard to ignore this record breaker. Ellie's come in three main flavors, the giant bush elephant, the straight-tusked forest elephant, both of Africa. And their smaller Asian cousin. Not surprisingly, other animals make room at the bar for the pachyderms. Even predators clear out. Elephants are so big, they even alter their own environment. These forest clearings look like signs of deforestation, but they are elephant excavations. Forest elephants use the area so often that the vegetation is trampled before it has the chance to grow. The elephants dig down to underground water reserves, creating drinking holes that they and other animals can enjoy. The muddy mixture is full of minerals from the dirt, creating a natural power drink. Ellie's could fill a record book on their own. To expand their body surface area to help them cool down, the African elephant has the world's biggest ears. Their tough, branchy diet is rendered to pulp by massive, brick-sized molars. But it's their trademark tusks that win the record. The biggest were over 90 kilos each. Elephants are pregnant for nearly two years, the longest gestation. They have big babies too, 100 kilos of fuzzy pachyderm. This little guy could live well into his 80s, one of the longest lived mammals. The trunked titans also have the biggest brains on land, an impressive five kilos, four times bigger than a human's. But don't feel inadequate. We can't let elephants completely steal the limelight. Plenty of animals can wow with their size. Only one can truly look down on the elephant the giraffe. From a lofty six meters, this gangly grazer can survey the plains. His large eyes allow him to spot distant danger. And for that reason, other animals like to hang out with him. It's like having a resident lookout. This nosy pair notice wildebeest and zebra walking into a trap.
But like lifeguards on lookout towers, it seems they don't want to see anyone get hurt. Being a goody two-shoes doesn't always make you popular. Giraffes have evolved such dizzying heights to be able to access lush green tree growth that's out of the reach of other animals. Though the neck's long, there are just seven vertebrae, the same number as any other mammal. The giraffe family is also blessed with the longest and most mobile tongue. Nearly half a meter long, it delicately picks around thorns to pluck leaves. But there is a price to pay for always looking down on others. They have the highest blood pressure among mammals, twice that of the average human. A heart the size of a watermelon is needed to pump blood all the way to the brain. And while they are not the biggest animals, some can be the largest of their kind. The Siberian tiger is the world's biggest cat. 300 kilos and three meters of feline power and grace. Found only in the chilly forests of northern Russia and China, this giant is one of the rarest cats on Earth. The hyacinth macaw, the biggest parrot, Its impressive beak is custom-built for smashing into Brazil nuts, their favorite food. <laughs> the aptly named giant salamander is a 2-meter, 60-kilo record holder of the amphibian world. a rare prehistoric relic that lurks in the freshwater streams of Asia, ready to snatch frogs, shrimps and fish. The man-sized river wolf or giant otter of the Amazon is the biggest of its family. And this, a rat the size of a pig, the South American capybara is the world's biggest rodent. For comparison, the smallest rodent, the Eurasian harvest mouse, is barely the size of a capybara's toenail. Twice the weight of a Labrador, the capybara is built like a hippo, with eyes and nostrils on the top of its head to submerge in water, a great escape against most predators. The capybara must look out for some deadly record breakers lurking in their wetland home. Massive reptiles ramp up the weight. In the Amazon, it's mostly caiman, huge hunters, but by no means the biggest. However, they do have cousins. The largest Australian crocs can be seven meters long and weigh a ton. And the dramatic Nile crocodile isn't far behind. 
They have been around for 240 million years, survivors from the age of dinosaurs. One key to their survival, a record-breaking bite force. They can slam their jaws shut with over 16,000 newtons of pressure, four times that of a hyena or lion. With killer jaws, they can overpower very large prey. The greatest sizes have been achieved in the low gravity world beneath the sea. There are some enormous fish, such as the basking shark, the second biggest on Earth, which can be as long as a London bus and weigh more than an elephant. Though it looks intimidating, it's a filter feeder, its meter-wide mouth straining plankton from one and a half million liters of water per hour. Of course, the true leviathans of the sea are the whales. The blue can reach 30 meters and weigh 170 tons. Its smaller cousin, the humpback, undertakes epic journeys and has a haunting song that at over half an hour is the longest in nature. It also glides on the world's longest arms, five meter wing-like pectoral flippers. This is the biggest toothed animal on the planet, the sperm whale, a 20-meter monster with fist-sized teeth. Socially complex and mysteriously intelligent, sperm whales have the biggest brains on the planet, five times bigger than a human's. They're also one of the deepest diving, plunging over two kilometers below the surface, where they can hunt squid for well over an hour. There is one other record holder in the whale clan. The gray whale undertakes the longest mammalian migration, traveling 2,000 kilometers from balmy breeding grounds in the tropics to rich summer feeding in the Arctic and back again. By comparison, the longest land mammal migration is that of the wildebeest, a mere 800 kilometers. To follow the annual rains and therefore best grazing, the great herds of East Africa must keep on the move. Though this migration is high risk, 
Over one million animals crossing everything in their path, including crocodile-infested rivers. But the march is unstoppable. Such is the drive to find fresh pasture. Deadly river crossings, combined with exhaustion, thirst and predation, cause the deaths of some 250,000 wildebeest on migration each year. But the survivors will reach fresh grazing and produce around 500,000 calves to replenish the herd. Both wildebeest and whales are beaten by a hardy aerial traveler. The Tern family are not only among the most agile flyers, they also include some real long distance travelers. When the North Pole is in winter, the South Pole enjoys summer and vice versa. So the Arctic Tern moves from one to the other. Fishing in the rich southern seas, it then flies north to breed. It never has to see winter. It's a staggering 90,000 kilometer round trip. Not bad for a bird half the size of a pigeon. In just a few months, this Arctic Tern chick will have to begin the epic journey himself so parents work hard to fatten him up. If he survives the turn's average 20-year lifespan, he'll have racked up some two and a half million kilometers of air miles on his migration. Birds are truly amazing masters of the skies and break world records in all manner of ways. Griffin vultures are among the most dramatic. With broad wings almost three meters across, they can use thermals, hot drafts of air, to rise effortlessly, soaring over the landscape and using precision eyesight to hone in on potential food. Because they feed on the carcasses of dead animals, they are often considered dirty birds. But in fact, they are a clean-up operation, removing the dead before diseases can spread. There might be plenty of food, but that doesn't stop a bit of squabbling. Thanks to their efficient gliding, vultures are the highest flyers, 
rising up and up on hot air. One kind, the Rupel's griffon vulture, was recorded 11,277 meters above sea level, high enough to soar over Mount Everest. They might be the best in the gliding category, but vultures don't win any speed records. This bird does, or will. It's a young peregrine falcon, not yet fledged, watched over by his father. The youngster grooms. Feathers will be vital to his future aerial success. When peregrines dive, they can reach maximum speeds of 322 kilometers per hour, the fastest animals on the planet. To protect their lungs from the air pressure at speed, their nostrils are partly covered by bony lumps that control the airspeed, and a third, see-through eyelid can be drawn to protect their eyes. Pigeons are their favorite prey. Another dove arrives via airmail. Soon the chicks will be ready to take to the skies. Peregrines are the most widespread birds of prey, even following pigeons into the heart of the world's cities. So look out, there could be a record holder in your neighborhood. While the peregrine is the Olympic diver, there are faster contenders in powered flight. Despite being heavy bodied and clumsy on land, ducks are actually the fastest flying birds, 90 to 100 kilometers per hour. It's not going to win any records for speed, but at 18 kilos, the bizarre Cory Bustard is the world's largest flying animal. Though it prefers to walk around the African plains, using air sacs in its throat to boom intimidating calls at its opponents. Similar in size, but more at home in the skies, is the gigantic Andean condor. Like the griffon vulture, they float their 15 kilo bulk on three meter wings. Saving energy by catching thermals to cruise over their mountainous home. Low energy flight is essential. The birds may have to cover 200 kilometers or more to find carrion. When a carcass is spotted, they cautiously descend. Condors are surprisingly shy for their size and strength. Each tries to consume a kilo or two of food and then probably won't eat again for several days. The incredible record-breaking feats of the avian world are thanks to their remarkable feathers. The mute swan has the highest number of feathers ever counted on a bird, 
25,216 white plumes that are not just used for flight. They are fluffed up in display by this love-struck pair. The feathers also trap a layer of warm air close to the skin, keeping the birds cosy and buoyant. While the swan has the most feathers, hummingbirds might have as few as 940. But it's not surprising, since hummingbirds are also record holders, the tiniest tweeters on Earth. Weighing less than two grams, they can be smaller than a big bumblebee and lighter than a penny. Holding themselves steady in the air, hummingbirds gently sip nectar from flowers, needing the high sugar diet to power their impressive flight. Every day they consume twice their weight in nectar, that's about half their total mass in sugar. Even more if they need to carry food to their young. With such high energy demands for flight, hummingbirds live permanently close to starvation, barely having the energy to make it through the night. Their tiny hearts beat 1,260 times a minute, 15 times faster than a human's. Seemingly living in fast forward, the Hummer has the fastest wing beat, a complete blur at 90 strokes per second. Back down to Earth, and from the smallest bird to the largest, the ostrich. The fastest bird on land, clocking up 70 kilometers per hour, it's a giant. The black and white males are biggest, towering nearly three meters above the ground. They have the largest eyes of any bird, almost as big as tennis balls. Other animals take advantage of their vigilance, but it's not always enough to escape danger. Big cats loom large on the African plains. A male ostrich would be a formidable opponent for a cheetah but a youngster would make a tempting meal. They just have to wait for one to stray from its father's protective gaze. Ostriches are fast, but they are left behind by the real land speed record holder, the cheetah. With long limbs and a flexible spine, the cheetah is a fine-tuned machine, always ready to race. Nought to 120 in just over three seconds.
Their target, the fleet-footed gazelle, is almost as fast, with extreme agility and endurance. The outcome is far from certain. Large nostrils and a deep chest pull in maximum oxygen and its heart rate increases ready for the final push. Because of its light, athletic build, cheetahs tend to favour small prey, like gazelles. But young males sometimes form coalitions. With combined might, they are ready to tackle much larger prey. Fifty kilos of predator against 250 kilos of angry wildebeest. Three against one, and they are evenly matched. It's not exactly life in the fast lane for our next record breaker. 15 meters per hour is about as fast as it gets. The slowest of all, the three-toed sloth. This male has spotted a female, which ups the ante. Going full throttle, he begins a high-speed pursuit. Cruising at a maximum speed of 24 meters per hour, he closes in. But the female's got a baby and doesn't want to play. Sloths are so slow that moths Beetles and algae live in its coarse fur. The reason for their slothfulness is the low nutritional value of their leafy diet. He'd better go back to feeding. His prey is less likely to run away. At first glance, the sloth doesn't seem like much of a record breaker, while others are born athletes. Cats are obviously gifted with strength and agility, and the puma of South America is no exception. Living high in the Andes, it needs to be an athlete just to get around. A mother keeps herself in top shape while her cubs play, demonstrating their gifts from an early age. Large paws grip the rocks, and their long tails swing as a counterbalance. Their real claim to fame is having the most impressive jumps. Leaping 5.5 meters up a tree. Or jumping down from 18 meters, which is like jumping from a three-story building. Not something these cubs seem too keen to demonstrate.
or from a standing position lunging nearly 12 meters in a long jump, three meters longer than the human record holder. But these cubs are going to have to practice their skills before they'll bring home the bacon. Another mammal that is jumping down to a fine art is the dolphin. It can get seven meters into the air. This wild individual has a special fondness for human companions and after showing off, seeks some affection. Could dolphins be one animal that's happy just to jump for joy? Wow. Champions come in all sizes, and it's easy to overlook the diverse world of mini beasts, but here records abound. Scorpions are perhaps the best adapted for surviving heat and dehydration. Even in the worst conditions, they lose less than one thousandth of their water thanks to a waxy skin covering. So they can keep dancing in the desert. These remarkable arachnids can survive losing 40% of their body fluids. Half as much would kill a human. Not everyone so crazy about the scorpion's cousin's eight-legged freaks, the spiders. There are 35,000 species. Most are hardly the stuff of nightmares, but there are a few giants. The Goliath bird-eating spider has a nine-centimeter body and legs that can reach across a dinner plate. Bird-eating spiders can weigh as much as a hamster and can tackle large prey thanks to two-and-a-half-centimeter fangs. Many invertebrates are short-lived. Perhaps the most shocking record is that of the mayfly. The larvae emerge as adults to breed, but may only survive for a few days or even just a few minutes. For that reason, all must arrive at once to stand any chance of getting it on and hopefully going out with a bang. <laughs> 
On the other end of the scale, the lobster is one of the longest lived animals. This crusty crustacean could be around for 50 to 100 years. As long as she manages to avoid lobster pots, Insects can be a force to be reckoned with, and relative to their size, beetles are the real heavyweights. Able to lift objects far greater than themselves. A human lifted 17 times his own body weight, but the record holder lifting 850 times its own mass, is the diminutive rhinoceros beetle. They might be small, but insects have the power to devastate lives, and none more so than the family of grasshoppers and locusts. The desert locust is the worst culprit, able to swarm by the million and eat everything in their path. A typical swarm of 50 million insects can eat as much in a single day as a village of 500 people would eat in a year. The biggest swarm ever recorded was 50,000 million individuals. Every day it consumed food that could have fed half a million people for a year. Does that also make them the most dangerous animal? Possibly, but there are some other contenders. Hippos are often said to be the most dangerous animals in Africa. The three-ton monsters can open their massive jaws 180 degrees, exposing 40 centimeter canines, though they usually only attack when surprised or threatened. Poison dart frogs have the most toxin. Just a smear from their skin can kill a horse. The most toxic species contain enough to kill 1,000 people. But that doesn't make them dangerous. They don't hunt big prey, and they only use their toxins to try and deter larger animals from eating them. Perhaps the most dangerous animal of all isn't one that's poisonous. It's probably the mosquito, or more precisely, the malaria they transfer with their bite. It's estimated that through disease spreading, this insect kills more than a million people each year. No animal is immune to its blood-sucking attacks. Animals of all shapes and sizes can break records, and we even have a few champs in our family tree. There are more than 230 primates spread around the globe.
The howler monkey is one of the loudest. To proclaim their territories, they belt out their calls. The sounds can be heard from nearly five kilometers away. And one of our closest cousins, the gorilla, is the biggest of the family. The largest silverback males, reaching close to two meters tall, and measuring nearly as wide around their deep, powerful chests. Despite their size, they are gentle giants with close family bonds. So record breakers come in all shapes and sizes, but what's the most successful animal of all? Well, perhaps we are. In just a few million years, the first humans emerged, taking over the world to become the most widespread of all mammals. There are more than seven billion of us around the globe. We have many unique skills, such as complex spoken and written languages, well-developed tool use, an ability to create fires and cook our food, clothe ourselves, and create art as a means of self-expression. than any other animal, we change the world around us. In their own ways, all animals are record breakers. They are all survivors, with unique tools to help them beat the odds and thrive in the wild. And with our passion, technology and complex brains, we are uniquely able to admire our record-breaking wild neighbors.